Hey there, Taurus. What's going on? How are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. If you've not been here before, like, share, subscribe, do all that nice, friendly YouTuber stuff. I would love to have you join my strange little tarot family. If you're coming back, hey, how you been? Missed y'all. Thanks for coming back. We're doing a general reading for you guys today for May 2021. My readings are timeless. They are not specifically a certain time. It's just what I see and you see the message when you need to see it. All right, Taurus. We're using the Moonchild Tarot today for you guys to get a general reading coming up for May 2021. If you guys want a personal reading with me, you may do that. You can find that information in the description box below. My email address is there. I will get back to you. All right. So, Taurus, let's see what's going on for you guys. <laughs> Sorry if you hear any extra noise or if I cough, like, all the way through your reading. The pollen in Atlanta is, like, extra dumb right now. And they're doing so much construction on my building. So there's all this construction dust and, like, nail guns and, like, crazy chaotic noises. So I'm not being attacked. It's just construction. <laughs> Anyways, Taurus, send her your reading. The moon child. That's a special card in this deck, all right? It just came up in the Scorpio reading. It's about connecting with, like, the universe, all right? What are you trying to manifest for yourself? What is it that you actually want? What, you know, you, yours is in reverse here. Are you confused, Taurus? Like, what's going on here? Blocking you right now is the Four of Wands. Interesting. This is a very specific message for one of you, Tauruses. You, you don't like the situation you've got yourself into. It's not what you imagined, all right? You're going to know what that means. It's not what you signed up for. Queen of Swords, recent past. Seven of Pentacles on your mind in reverse. You're not wanting to feed whatever this is, all right? Because it's not, it's like you're not getting back what you give here. Queen of Cups, though, coming up in your near future. I love that. God, that's a beautiful card. You got the Queen of Swords in the past, Queen of Cups in the near future, flanking this reading with the Moon Child in between. You reach some kind of clarity in the past about a situation, all right? You realize that it's no longer serving you. You reach some kind of higher clarity regarding this. You've re you realize you don't want to invest in this anymore, all right? It's like you went after the wrong thing. You put your coins in the wrong, you know, basket here. You invested in the wrong person or the wrong situation. Another queen. Queen of wands in reverse. Three queens. You've got the queen of truth, the queen of love, and then the queen of fire upside down in the middle of this. You are conflicted. With the moon child in reverse. Wow, Taurus. I can't wait to clarify these for you. Shadow work. Another special card for you. This is what's in your control, all right? Why are you investing in something that is not paying out the way it should, all right? Why are you allowing yourself to be held back from things that you are passionate about that bring you love? Why is it that you're compromising what your idea of a happily ever after is or what your, you know, stable situation is for something else? Why are you ignoring your intuition here? Why are you ignoring this shadow work that needs to be done?
subconsciously, I feel like you're afraid that if it's if, if you go for what you want or if you cut whatever this is off and you open up emotionally about whatever this is, about how something's not being satisfied right here or how you're tired of putting in this effort, you feel like you're going to look like the bad guy, that queen of wands in reverse. That's sabotaging you, that queen of wands in reverse. That's also the shadow work that you need to be working on, all right? Your um, other people's happiness is not your responsibility, all right? Your happiness is your responsibility. The four of wands is crossing you, which means you are not in a stable, loving, happily ever after situation. There's something off. This could have to deal with a job, a relationship, whatever. Foundationally, there's something that you know is not right for you in this dynamic. You reach that clarity in the past. You're no longer investing, I feel like, in whatever this situation was. There's, I'm going to clarify before I get too far ahead of myself. You got four swords energy, outside energy coming in. <clears throat> That's somebody doing their shadow work. This person's enlightened. I feel like this person has triggered you. She reminds me of this Queen of Swords in the past. Whoever or whatever this Queen of Swords energy was in the past, whatever situation this was, if the person, whatever happened here, an event, this is what is um, bringing stuff up for you. All right. It's making your spider sense go off. You got the lovers in reverse for your hopes and your fears. Wow. And then you've got the Eight of Swords. Dang, Taurus. This is a sad read, all right? Lovers in Reverse is about regretting a choice, all right? And that's in your hopes and your fears. This Taurus is very torn. Gemini energy with that. And then Eight of Swords. Very stuck here. Taurus, this is a tough decision. All right. I'm feeling a heavy. I'm feeling sad for this Taurus. All right. I feel your heart. There's something hurtful that you had to do. You had to cut somebody off or you had to. Walk away from something that intuitively you knew was something stable for you. All right, this could involve a family member, a loved one, a friend, a good friend, whatever. There was something that you were highly, you know, emotional about, passionate. Like, it wasn't something I feel like you wanted to let go of. And your intuition, you're like, I feel like you're regretting letting go of whatever this was. Or having to disconnect from whatever this was. This separation though, I do feel like there was some kind of a separation. Or like a harsh truth. Whatever this was, it's making you take a second look at your current situation. And you're realizing that there's something off, all right? Or that you're not able to invest in like the things that you want to invest in right now. Let's clarify these for you. I'm <clears throat> using the Hoodoo Tarot to clarify. Why is this Moonchild card here in the middle? I'm telling you, there was some kind of argument here. Do you feel like this has to do with a family issue or someone you consider family? Against your better judgment and intuition, all right? I feel like you either cut this person off or they cut you off. There was a need for a disconnect here because it was going to cause some kind of problem for you. Or your relationship with this person was causing a problem for them. This is like a self-sacrificing thing that I get here. 
the Knight of Swords moves with truth and clarity, but you're doing that against your intuition. So it's like you had to do this, like you truthfully felt like you had to go do whatever this was, but everything in your body was telling you, no, don't do this. But it was causing chaos for whatever reason. What's this four of wands? The lovers. All right, Taurus, you got the lovers twice now in your hopes and fears and what's crossing you and along with the four of wands. Were you deciding between two people here, Taurus? All right. One of y'all's ancestors is not happy about this choice, okay? I feel like you're... This is being in tune with spirit, things like that. That's crossing you, this moon child in your heart. The courting card, that deals with the lovers, all right? It's Gemini energy. It's having a big choice, whatever. But in this hoodoo deck, there's a couple walking, holding hands. One set of ancestors here is looking at them, and one is smiling and happy about the connection. The other is not. Having to make this choice crossed you, all right? Your intuition is also like just eating at you regarding this. I don't know if you're second guessing a choice in love. <clears throat> or if you purposely made the choice not to go forward with somebody or them with you, whatever this was. A spirit is like not happy about this queen of swords in the past is about the two of wands lots of duality energy here lots of choices needing to be made lots of tough decisions lots of and i feel like you did all right i feel like you cut something off or somebody cut you off what I'm picking up on here is somebody, like there's a, some kind of a relationship that you were in. I don't know if it was romantic, friendly, whatever, a family member, but it was causing problems in another relationship. You had love for both of these people. You had um, feelings for both of these people. Both of these people made you feel that it was, they were, they were part of your four of wands is what I get. Or both of these situations, whatever, take it as it resonates. And you were forced to leave one of these behind and stop investing. All you're thinking about right now is the seven of pentacles in reverse. What is that about? Ten of pentacles in reverse. You're scared you made the wrong choice or that you're investing in the wrong thing. You're also afraid that withdrawing from this other situation is somehow going to affect you either financially or stability wise. I feel like this other person was somebody that you leaned on or this situation. This could be a job that you had to leave as well. All right. Wands have to deal with work. You know, the lovers isn't always about love. There's not lovey-dovey cards here. There's hard choice cards, hard work cards. Things that affect your stability. Decisions that you had to make that aren't feeling good right now. You're scared, like, if you're only investing in this one situation, you're not going to, you want to be able to invest in both, I feel like. I feel like you need whatever this other thing is. You, you think you need it to be stable. <clears throat> What's this Queen of Cups about? Emperor in reverse. I feel like whatever this is, I do feel like this is a person, all right, that was cut off. I feel like this is going to reach some kind of an emotional um, confrontation coming up in the near future. Somebody's not going to be able to, with that emperor in reverse with the queen of cups, somebody's not going to be able to hold back their emotions anymore. Emperor in reverse is out of control. The queen of cups is like overflowing with love and everything. It's like y'all aren't going to be able to stay away from each other or you're not going to be able to... Um, It's like magnets, all right? You're still going to feel that love and that nurturing energy, like that this Queen of Cups like, you know, energy, I feel like is who you left or whatever. And Emperor in reverse, like you're not going to be able to stick to your decision. 
I feel like you made an emperor type decision to go one direction. Your emotions are not going to allow y'all to like remain in this energy. <laughs> it's going to overflow. Queen of Wands in reverse with the Queen of Wands in reverse. The Queen of Wands is my other woman. I can't ignore that fact. She's here twice in your subconscious. You can't stop thinking about this Queen of Wands, whoever this is. You still carry a lot of passion for this, whatever this is. You're really emotionally um, anxious about whatever this situation was. I feel like this is an unfair choice that you had to make and that somebody made you make it. Because you went against your intuition on purpose and I don't think you wanted to. <coughs> <coughs> you were forced to make this choice though to, you know, save something else. You got the magician with shadow work here. You can have everything you want, all right? Somebody told you or something made you think that you cannot have it all here? You can, all right? Whatever this is that you were forced to let go of or walk away from or cut off is supposed to be here for you, all right? It does provide you stability. It does provide you, you know, a sense of, belonging all right it's something you feel like you need in your life and you should be able to have that all right the magician with the shadow work card you got to figure out why you're allowing yourself not to be at your ten of pentacles at the expense of whatever you had to sacrifice this for you made a sacrifice to make somebody else happy here i feel like or to um stabilize something well in turn making yourself less stable. It's like you took one for the team here. Four of Swords, Temperance. This is that outside energy coming in, all right? This person did bring a lot of balance to you. This person was helping you heal some stuff. They, they um, they're a very motherly healing energy. This person is very zen. They're very calm. I also feel like they're, um, they almost understand why you had to do this or walk away. <laughs> they're at peace with it. It's not that they're at peace, but they're trying to get over it. All right. They're not trying to come in and start any drama or like, um, force you to choose differently. They've just kind of accepted it. It is what it is. And they're trying to bring themselves back into balance right now. I feel like that's um, triggering you though. You got the devil in reverse with the lovers in reverse. This other situation is not going anywhere, all right? The devil and the lovers are the exact same card in the Rider weight. Except one's controlled by spirit, one's controlled by ego. This is almost like, I'm almost like getting, um, Mrs. Robinson, to sum it up, like the devil card in this hoodoo, Mrs. Robinson was a real person, all right? She, Miss Robinson, she was a root worker. She got ostracized. A bunch of, you know, angry Karens made her feel like a witch and outcasted her. She lost her business. She lost the thing that she loved the most and she wanted to get revenge. And she wanted, if, if, you know, if I can't have what I want, then you can't have what you want. So she, you know, did some root work and it's alleged that she was responsible for the death of her rival son. If there's a person in your life forcing you to choose between loved ones or um, not allowing you to have friends or like other kind of connections or relationships, that make you feel good, all right? 
that make you feel more grounded, that make you feel more stable. That's not love, all right? That's ego. I think that's what you're struggling with, all right? I get a jealousy vibe here. Somebody was jealous, all right? It's almost like um you're in a relationship and you're jealous because your dude's got like a, a girl that's a friend, all right? And they're really close and they talk all the time and they're like, no, you're gonna cut that off. You, there's only one, I'm the only one, I'm the one and only. You should be telling me all of your things. You can't tell everything to every person. Like you can't share everything with your significant other. Like you have to have other outlets. You have to have other people to lean on. You're feeling like you have to cut off things and leave things behind that are important to you to satisfy this other person. And that's devil energy. That's that person's insecurity, all right? If they're not confident with you having friends and you having a life outside of them or being able to do something, that's their problem, not yours. And I see you, you know, sacrificing yourself and cutting these things off to stabilize this person and make them feel more secure while it's making you feel stuck. Eight of Swords, strength in reverse. You're not standing up for yourself. You're not standing up for yourself and you're going to remain in this stuck, sad energy. Judgment in reverse. This is a bad decision, all right? Judgment in reverse, King of Pentacles, and then Moon in reverse. That's your energy, Taurus, King of Pentacles. <clears throat> This is a bad decision for your stability. It's creating more confusion for you, moon energy. You need to stand up for yourself here, all right? And you need to, like the shadow work, you, you there's shadow work that you need to do. And you need to under, you know, figure out why it is that you are more uh, worried about pleasing other people than making sure that you're good. If you allow this behavior to continue, this person will have you cutting out everything and everyone in your life because this person is insecure. They want to make sure that you're only there for them and that's it. They don't want you investing your energy somewhere else, all right? It's like a... It's like a very... Um, rigid energy. Inflexible. And that's not healthy, all right? All right, Taurus. You've got the ability to manifest whatever you want if you work through this. Figure out why it is you're more concerned about other people's happiness than your own. It's a valiant characteristic, but you always end up miserable in the end, all right? That's what I got for you, Taurus. Love y'all. See you next time. Have a good one. Bye.